Hello, welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Uh, there was a slight problem. Uh, this is the, our second attempt at recording this, as the game uh, stopped recording into OBS and then horrendously crashed. Yep. So anyway, uh, long story short, elephant, trample, childhood, best friend, stupid man who was keeping an untrained elephant in his backyard. I don't know if we can call him childhood best friend, being that he was way older than us, but... Okay, but fair enough. <laughs> fair, fair enough, but he was a childhood friend. Yeah, he was like a family friend, a childhood friend. Yeah. yeah. He dead now. Okay, l l let's be honest here. Sherlock does not have many friends. This is true. We've confirmed that he had two, and one of them is imaginary. Yep. And the other is now currently dead. Like, super dead. Super dead. All right. Ready? Yeah, let's hope it doesn't crash this time. Yeah, I hope so. Wow, no loading screen this time. Thank you. Go. So, yeah, this is definitely the manner of some rich douchebag. Um, Who is very obsessed with elephants. Yeah, he's got quite the elephant problem. I'll, uh, I can always recognize this. Click on the stuff that we clicked on. Yeah. Head upstairs. So I'll kind of walk around like the areas he doesn't. There's an elephant tusk, there's some like spears back there that I just walked past. Um, this portrait might be important. This young lady has a childish interest in Probably her Probably a daughter. Probably? Also, I love all this elephant paraphernalia and there's the suit of armor. Yes. <laughs> you! Who are you? My name is Sherlock Holmes. Theodore Gildon was... Did you kill him? Did you kill the elephant? It's not in the yard anymore. It escaped into the forest. You can't let it go. What if it returns? I highly doubt that, miss. Imogen Gildon. Please, I beg of you. Find that dreadful beast that killed my father. I suppose we do need to learn what happened. That definitely okay. looks like the woman from the portrait, I'd like yeah. to say. Which is why I said it might be important, because we did get to this point, and so I was like, oh, yeah. it looks kind of like that lady. Uh, that's about when I noticed that OBS said frozen. Yeah. Uh, so, tell me everything you know. Spare no detail. Can you tell me what happened? From the very start. I was here, so I didn't see how it began. My father visits the enclosure every morning to wake up Goliath. Today, I heard the elephant scream. I've never heard such a horrifying sound. My heart stopped. I knew something was wrong. I looked through my window and saw how it... How it lifted my father up by his neck. I rushed downstairs. I saw it dragging my father as if he were a doll. I threw stones at it. It dropped my father's body and charged outside, screaming. Its roar was almost human. I was frightened, so I ran inside and hid here. I think there may have been... Um... Another, uh, uh, person screaming there. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, it was the most probable outcome, <laughs> living with a giant wild animal such as that. You looked at your How options and were so like, cold? Well... <laughs> Goliath murdered my father, Mr. Holmes. He mustn't be allowed to get away with it. Well, thank you for the information, Miss Gildon. I did have some questions for your father. Perhaps you might help me with them? I wasn't privy to much of my father's life, and it's very hard to think of anything at all with Goliath still loose. Please, Mr. Holmes. Very well. Do you mind if I ask you more questions if I find anything that might help? Anything to catch that monster! I really hope that we get a option, like, yeah. within, like, the case to decide whether or not we want to, to like, persecute the elephant. Ah! It's like... No, let the elephant go free. <laughs> <laughs> let the elephant go free. Miss Gildon, I was on this island ten years ago, and your father knew my mother. I believe I even had the opportunity to ride that balloon outside, but I do not recall seeing you. I lived at my late mother's in Sheffield at the time. I'm in no spirit to reminisce right now. The elephant is out there. <laughs> You've never heard the name Violet Holmes before? Perhaps your father... Please, Mr. Holmes. With that beast roaming free, I can't think of anything. Very well. Hey, so... 
Do we have any of them? I don't think so. Oh. I don't think we have anything that hasn't been talked about so far. I have to well, leave let's you Let's open now. the case book. Okay, we do have some evidence. Oh. Those, uh, those ones. Animal suspect and traces near the shed. Okay, yeah, let's talk to her about that. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Don't take her picture. I'll take a picture. Mm. Did you observe anyone else in the yard? Any of your servants, perhaps? Servants? Do you imagine that we would have any with Goliath? No one wishes to work in this house, even for double pay. <laughs> I didn't see anyone else. Only my father and that diabolical beast. Interesting. I mean, maybe I mean, they were, were behind there. the gate, though. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I don't have any thoughts on oh. this. It's um, well, it's uh, like... the elephant, animal suspect. Had Goliath been aggressive before? It's dangerous, but it was never aggressive near my father. My father would do anything for Goliath. All the elephant had to do was clap its ears. You envied him, the elephant, I mean. Our house is called the House of Ivory. Oh. I've heard some people refer to me as the Ivory Girl. And my room stinks of the animal. As if it's me who lives in a pen and not Goliath. It's not envy, Mr. Holmes. It's just incredibly difficult to live like this. Interesting. So this also is the uh, House of Ivory that I saw mentioned in Steam Achievements. Oh, interesting. A commendable effort to barricade the windows. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, you barricaded yeah. the windows. Huh. Hey, little bird. Little bird. Little oh, parrot. Little parrot. Up to John. Oh, sure. Who's a cute bird? I was kind of hoping the bird would answer. Well, now, see, that would mean the bird sees John. <laughs> yeah. She packed as much as she could carry. She was planning on getting out of here. Mm -hmm. Who's uh, this? The same dull poses on all romantic photographs. Right. What's this? So idyllic. Enjoy your happily ever after before it stales. I should have read that. It looked like a, you know, like, normal, sort of, have a great one. False idols. False idols? Oh, sounds utterly dreary. Hey, Sherry, we need to talk. I'm... Hmm. You found false idols. We need to find the remaining two. What does bazooka even mean? Would this paper be good for anything but blowing one's nose on? They're not rubbish, Sherry. There's something more. I'm serious. Very well. I doubt it'll be worth it, but I will find them for you, John. You'll thank me later. They're some of the most imaginative books I've ever read. What did you say? Speaking aloud helps me think. <laughs> That's the closest thing we've ever had to someone mentioning John, and clearly it's because Holmes was talking out loud. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything else in this room? Was it Z? Z. Let's I think anything. that's it. I think we've got everything. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's check out the case book. And oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, victory is for you and you only. Uh, Paul. So we need to talk to her about Paul. Hey, let's talk about... Hey, question. So, did you perhaps have a partner who might have murdered your father. Yes. I found this. Who's this young lad next to you, your faithful knight? Paul. He's my pirate. He's not really a pirate. I just call him that. It probably sounds very silly. Your secret is safe in my hands. Does Paul work somewhere? What is his surname? His name is Paul Perks. He and his yacht Whirlpool are the champions of the Salacia Yacht Club. He sails there. I'll show you where it is on the map, if you need to meet him. A yachting champion? Oh, that will be a first. I prefer dry land. And so does my suit. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Also, did the sound get weird for you? Slightly. Okay. These bags of yours, it looks as if you've packed your entire room. Were you planning on going some- My partner and I, we wanted a change, a fresh start abroad. But now I have to stay here. Here, an orphan. Hmm. Interesting. I'm oh, sorry. Basukayology trilogy. <laughs> I don't think that these are important. Should I tap them anyway? Uh, no. I have to leave you for now. Because, I mean, if you if you open the case file... Oh. Uh, they don't have the little... Uh, they don't have gun. a talk. Yeah. But, uh, this one does need, mean that we need to talk to people. And John wants us to find, like, the other two books. Yes. Which presumably we'll find elsewhere on the case. Oh. Presumably. Aha! Uh -huh. Wow, this person had an elephant thing. Uh, oh wait. Get here. The nicest spot in the room. Mr. Gildon spent hours of his life right here. Staring at an elephant's backside. What a wonderful life. Holy shit. This is why they call it the House of Ivory. He had a problem. Uh, yeah, very much so. Mother. It's nice to see her oh. young and smiling. Hmm. Interesting. From before Mycroft was born, our family loves to prod at the past. See you, Violet and Holmes's Singer. desire to rake Singer. up the past is hereditary. Interesting. Goodness gracious, he had a throne! I feel a bit less bad about uh, you saying that it was inevitable <laughs> that he'd get <laughs> crushed. Yeah, exactly. Is that a finger? It is, I think. A relatively functional choice to replace the finger. It's like a prosthetic. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Around the that arm, makes sense. Or the hand, really? Yeah. <laughs> Elephant, Elephant perfume? Elephant oh, musk. <laughs> that stench of an Why animal. is that in your Did office? Did Theodore seek some pink elephants with this? Maybe. <laughs> His true love. An elephant. I think <laughs> Miss Gildon has barely matured. Okay, maybe we can look at the other picture. Oh. One on the side. <laughs> you know Literally, picture of an elephant on one side of his desk, picture of his daughter on the other. Yeah. I think they were closer than you and me, John. I'm hurt. Well, I think Sherlock is being real here. Yeah. <laughs> Ivory baths. What is this? What's so special about this place? Another elephant? Uh, partners T. Gildan in that corner. A partnership annulled with a single stroke of a pen. Oh. He crossed someone out of the partnership. But who and why? Perhaps someone that might want to uh, crush him with an elephant. Yes. A catchy title. I should take a photograph of the plans. I don't want to carry them around. That's definitely not a great photograph, but we're gonna pretend it is. Oh no, it's it's a good photograph, otherwise John would have eaten it. Ah! <laughs> Just stops with it. <laughs> it mentions that he steals bad photographs, so, you know, what does he do with them? We've, we've never seen John eat. <laughs> uh, local wealthy resident Theodore Gildon, 55, has purchased an Indian elephant from a traveling circus. So Mr far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gil Gildon 
comments, it is a wonderful opportunity. There is no one on this island better suited to provide for such a comfortable home for this elephant. It is a paradise for a noble creature. No longer will this animal be locked in a tent with clowns. He will be my companion from now on, my second child, and I will protect him. Don't be jealous, people of Cardona. I am your best citizen. Wow. Only time will tell if this is a midsummer madness or not. The neighboring elite of Cardona are shocked to read the news, and furthermore, to hear the terrible trumpetings of the beast. Uh, but they are uh, having to accept the eccentricity of one of Cardona's most powerful. Now, uh, we can all say that the richest of our island have troubles to bear too, and the same as the rest of us. His second child, so. an apparent son and heir, I'd say. He, uh, he had issues. <laughs> many, many issues. Many. Oh, there's a thing. Hey. Oh, and there's another thing on the desk. Mm. Quite the spectrum. From the history of the Roman Empire to conspiracy theories of the French Revolution. Of course. Of course. Rich man conspiracy theories. Uh, side desk. Oh, side desk. This one over here. Yeah. Mm. No, is that just the reflection of the candlestick? Really? Yeah, it looks like it's just the candlestick. That's okay. Frog wears. I think you should have picked a better color than yellow. <laughs> Definitely. Maybe blue. <laughs> looks eccentric and smells eccentric. <laughs> Definitely. We are just being plagued by dog sounds. At least I can cut out most of the dog sounds. Okay, let's open the, uh, the case book. We got another thing to talk about. Oh, you're right. Ivory bats. I'll go back upstairs and mention that. Yeah. And then we'll probably want to, uh... She said make our way to the yacht, yacht club? club? I think so, because she said that he's from the yacht club. Yeah, that's the one. What's this? Hey, Swift, is this name familiar to you? Hey, Your Swift. father had it removed hmm. from this plan. Oh, that's Arthur Swift. I've seen him a couple of times here. He works with my father in the old city, digging up something ancient. He is oh. an archaeologist? Hmm. That's the word, yes. But to be truthful, I really don't think Mr. Swift is fit to be one. Well, I've your just father learned a lot about archaeology uh, from my favorite elephant, book series. So. Oh, they are page turners. Inspirational, I'm sure, but would you happen to know where this Mr. Swift might be found? I don't, but perhaps you can find out somewhere. My father's work with him is all official. Lots of boring legal papers with signatures and stuff. Okay. We should be able to look that up in an archive of some sort. Yeah, probably. I have to leave you for now. City Hall. Probably. We got mine house clippers. Hmm. I don't think we have anything new though. Well, there's the partnership, but Oh like, yeah, we got that. But I don't think mm -mm. I don't think we can really draw any conclusions at the moment. We definitely shouldn't draw any conclusions yet. Not yet. The Yacht Club's down, yeah, there. Okay. Uh, are we able to fast travel straight to the Yacht Club? Can we? No. Hmm. Should just be able to follow this road. Probably, but again, I, uh... When it comes to, like, straight... Oh, clothing trader. Yeah. Uh, even with straight lines, I can get myself turned around. Because I'll see, like, another path, and I'll just, you know... Yeah. Or walk right past where I need to go. Like, I could have just kept going that way. <laughs> we could probably try asking people at the Yacht Club. Are you able to help me? That's a question I can answer. Oh. Paul missed the race. Interesting. No one's seen him since morning. 
you in his room in the workshop south of the club. Uh huh. Sure, he's not recovering from being crushed by an elephant. Mm -hmm. We're heading north. So south of the yacht club. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's go around this way. Uh, it's possible he's next to that yacht. Oh yeah, maybe. It does look like a workshop. I think we got to the right place. Yes. <laughs> Sure does look like a workshop for boats. Hello? Any suspicious characters here? Mm -hmm. Whirlpool! That was a word! Uh, that was the name of the ship, right? Am Can't I go finished? in there! I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> oh! John! Hi, John! John! John, what are you doing up there? John, we must discuss your choice of location. Hello? Okay, a fight can happen here. Good to know. Hmm, that's concerning. Nope. Okay. It's probably one of those other doors. There's several. <laughs> Yeah, Whirlpool wouldn't open. Oh wait, I forgot I can run. We'll just do this. Um. Hey! Oh, what door was this? Storage. Storage. A foghorn to navigate and warn others at sea. It should have a warning to cover your ears. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. One might blow a foghorn set an elephant. <laughs> yeah. Elephant murders a uh, man. What if, like... Ooh. Yeah, it is the world. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> he really does love water. <laughs> it, it's so sad I don't. <laughs> I'm a hydrophobe. Well, one of you has to. Yes. The champion's whirlpool. Pools bread. Oh, there's and some spilled uh, lacquer. Interesting. Open the, uh, the. Yeah. Is it leading anywhere? Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Presumably into the door marked um, whirlpool. Nope. No? It just it, it stops? <laughs> what would you say the trajectory of the. This is going this way or this is going that way? Ah. Uh, Oh, I don't know. Because my initial thought is it's going this way, but now looking at it from this angle, it looks like it's going that way. It's hard to tell. Okay. Hang on. Let's go over here again. Yeah, we'll go over to the, those cans. Like, it doesn't have anything to say about them. Go check the whirlpool door. See if it's unlocked now. Nope. No. Oh, hey, the window. A window. Bloodied bandages. Interesting. I think we now have a champion fall. hide a key. Okay, so we need to find the key then. Am I understanding that correctly? I think you're understanding that correctly. I don't see anything new in the, uh, 
little while. I don't see anything new in these. No, I don't think. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay, so currently empty. Maybe we can just open it. Mm -hmm. No. Wait. Oh. Okay, so we're looking for where the key is going to be held. Yeah. Check the storage room. Wait. Recently moved. Maybe it's behind there? Maybe. I thought it looked a little weird. Yep, ah. there it is. I hope Paul is more skilled at yachting than he is at hiding keys. <laughs> okay. Bloodied bandages. Too expensive. To earn big, you have to spend big. Definitely something I've heard before. Oh, no, it's a it's a bet. Ooh, total stake one hundred, total wings six hundred. You do not get to back out of our deal. You do not get to leave on a win. You need to get your. You need to get us fresh waves. Oh, waves. for our party. <laughs> for our tea, tea party. party. If you have any questions, uh, the boys will be keeping an eye on you at the race. Interesting. An interesting place for a message to a champion. An interesting place. Have an interesting thing to say. Additional earnings to sweeten the victory. Wait. You gormless gilly wetfoot! You think you can leech off my family, steal my money, exploit my daughter? This ends today. Your career is over. I shall give you one final warning. And if you refuse to cooperate, you'll find yourself in deep water. Gildan. Oh. So... <laughs> Mr. Gildan wasn't afraid to get his hands dirty. <laughs> so Mr. Gildan found out that... Oh. Uh, Paul was taking advantage of uh, his daughter, mm -hmm. or at least believe, or at least believes that. Then, you know, basically is like, "Hey, back off, or I'm going to ruin your life." Yeah. I mean, it's really not looking good for Paul. It is not looking. I mean, I was already suspecting Paul. Paul to begin with, but I'm not entirely like convinced he's not a red herring but not looking great for him because now he's got motive and uh opportunity yeah old betting slips paul always bets on whirlpool one victory after another interesting and we also have an entire another person to check out though we do this arthur guy so how does yeah. he fit in we're li that's likely going to be the other. It's going to um, probably be between our Like, who who do we believe was the one that committed the crime? Yeah. This is a lot bigger of a case than I thought it would be. <laughs> What's this? Um. Sherlock, tell us. A box full of darts. Each has a needle and can be loaded with drugs. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Um... Paul. <laughs> An expensive set of tools for woodwork. An amateur wouldn't know how to use these. Paul? So why? It, that's another possibility. He might have drugged the elephant. Entirely possible. Shipbuilding, shipwrights tricks, 
sail weaving. I just need some. I need a second. I was being impatient. Anything else here? I suppose we could talk to John. Well, John's here. Too ordinary a room for a champion. There's no incentive to put in any effort. So we definitely have some new clues and mind palace stuff to consider. Okay. Mm. Not those. No. Check the case book. Suspicious no. This one says we're gonna need like the concentration at some point. Yeah. Oh. Uh, there's also that book. I think that's an archive one. Yeah, there's an archive one. Uh, let me just look around for a sec quick sec. Okay, it's probably somewhere else then that we're gonna need this. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure, because sometimes if you don't have it pinned, no, no, it doesn't... It, it, it doesn't show up if it's not pinned. Yeah. So. Uh, hang on. Oh. Yeah. Like check, like uh, check around the uh, the workshop before we uh, we leave. Oh sure. Just in case, like it wants you to uh, check it out uh, somewhere else. <laughs> I'd hate to have to run all the way back. Oh know? yeah, me too. I would not want to do that. Yeah. I don't see anything. Hmm. We're not allowed to leave. <laughs> we are trapped! Clearly we have more stuff to figure out. Oh, or we were just using the wrong that was door. The wrong door. when you find a place where someone could observe the rings. That makes sense. Ooh, over there. Right by that... Big... That thing? Yeah. Yeah. Papers are sold out. <sighs> How do I get up there? I don't know. <gasps> oh, fuck. How do we get up there? Okay. We might not be able to get up there. Mm. All right. Well, let's, uh, all right, let's see what we got. What's the what's the book? All right, that's the uh, we need to go to the uh, like presumably like city hall or something. Yeah, presumably. Um. You've opened the uh, yeah. in evidence. <laughs> yeah, there's city hall. 
I don't think we can just fast travel. No. Right? But we can fast travel here. Yeah. I was hoping it would be nice and let us fast travel to the bridges at least. Nope. <laughs> I was like, there should be a thingy. <laughs> Does it look remotely familiar? Should it? Concentrate, Sherry. Oh. Oh. There's yeah. a memory here. <laughs> New case silence is golden. Gathered. I was here, young and passionate about the truth. Mycroft stood close to me. He was keen on my attending every official event that I might prepare myself for the Crown Service. Lucky for you, that was the last time he did it. Uh. <laughs> there was a stage here, a tribute. The governor gave his speech there. He was lying through his teeth and nobody noticed, or didn't want to, but I noticed. I was extremely irritated by his lies. I shouted my opinions very loudly for everyone to hear. The crowd went wild. <laughs> See, Mycroft didn't take too uh, kindly to that. Mycroft was yeah. angry but calm. He led me away from the stage. He told me that I should keep my mouth shut. And that silence is golden. I couldn't stand for that. Behold, Sherlock Holmes's famous adherence to justice was born here. <laughs> oh, interesting. Hey, uh, John, where'd you get this money? John? <laughs> John, you've been taking money from people again. We just were given money for completing that memory. John! Are you lost, sir? Not at all. I'm right where I need to be. I'm Sherlock Holmes, by the way. Ursula Oni, the chief archivist. How can I help you exactly? I need to take a look at the history of Cordona and its islanders to retrieve some, hopefully, useful information. Your brother Mycroft told me that you were direct. And now that we've met, I can see that is true. <laughs> Someone in our family has to balance the evasive nature of my brother. Well, may I use the city archives? You may, of course. But in return, perhaps dinner? That's a high price to pay for looking at your archives. <laughs> I was teasing you. Pay no attention to me. <laughs> She's like... Just kidding, unless... <laughs> She's like, you can't blame me for, for, for taking a shot. You <laughs> can't blame me for shooting my shot. <laughs> oh. There's a sign behind you. There's usually a sign. Mm, let's see. Deputy Chief Archivist. No. Okay, that's, uh, that's an office. Right over here. Thomas Norton, Chief Archivist. Maybe behind? No? No, nope. no, can't, nope. go, can't go that way. Okay, we'll just try. Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, wait, that's not that's a door. That's not a door. It's a very door shaped, like. Hang on. It's now, it is a door. It's a door of, of some, some sort. sort. <laughs> With a shelf. It's a door shelf. I try it. Just sort of ram yourself into doors and see oh, what like opens. like a fly. <laughs> <laughs> Let me in. Oh, oh, that worked. Was this the archives? I, I guess. I guess so. Sorry, I keep hitting E. Alright, so... 
Oh, yeah, A and D. Change evidence. I'm hitting A and D. Huh. Hang on. Oh, we're on the wrong. Oh. Correct. Ivory bats. Pin. Back. Uh, you pinned a suspicious note, but oh, that's God. all right. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Uh... Uh... Old city. Subjects? Business? Yeah, that's uh... Like business part of businesses. Yes. <laughs> Note of registration. By authority of the government of Cordona, this deed registers the creation of Gildan and Swift LTD. Do you know what that stands for? Oh. Uh, limited? Limited, I limited. think. Uh, on this, the 21st day of June, 1877, Theodore Gildan is the sole proprietor sorry, and founder of the above enterprise and shall provide finances and the land known as the Roman outskirts. Author Swift is a founding partner and shall provide finances and his services as an archaeologist. The primary purpose of this enterprise is to perform archaeological research in the ruins located at the intersection of, the, of Bazaar Road and Ardnot Street, uh, beyond the fortification walls of Old City Cordona. Hmm. The sole proprietor, undersigned, hereby agrees to the fund archaeological research in the exchange of ownership of any uncovered items of historical value. The founding partner, undersigned, hereby waives all finder's rights and ownership of items uncovered in the archaeological dig in exchange for the exclusive right to publication of all academic findings thereof. Signed by Mr. Theodore Gildon and Mr. Arthur Swift. Okay. With your love for archives, you would have made the perfect bureaucrat. So, we have an address now. Yeah. Uh, oh, this one we actually can place on map, so it's, uh, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. uh, Bizarre Road and Ardnot Street in Old City. <laughs> Bizarre Road? Yeah, uh, do, do, do. If you see Ardnot Street, scream. Wait! It, it, yeah, there it is. Oh. So we can space to place. Yes. Nice. Okay. This case, it just keeps going deeper. Mm hmm. This is going to be quite the walk now. <laughs> quite. Quite the step step. Quite the step step. Okay. Well. Well, let's see how far we can get before we have to stop. Because uh, we'll definitely have to stop soon. Alrighty, here we go. Treasure maps from the governor. Wait. Find eight and uh, come back for more. Man. Treasure hunt. <laughs> As part of Governor's commitment into increasing tourism of Cordona, the City Hall has, is excited to announce a treasure hunt event. The challenge consists of three stages, each consisting of eight phono photographic clues to locations of hidden treasure boxes. Once the participant has collected all eight, he or she must return and collect the clues for the next set of treasures. Interesting. Okay, so that's another thing we can do. I think that will earn us some money. Yeah. Wait. Blue. Blue, blue. Alright. Now just uh, to run all the way there. Or at least try and find some fast travel points. <laughs> yes. The thing is we have to discover the fast travel points. So. Yes. Harbor Master building. Interesting. Got some ruins here. Wait, where are we going? Uh, you're currently running where towards the ocean. Hey, 
Let's put some Benny Hill music here. Okay. I would if I had any. Careful, you're going to get the um, <laughs> uh, channel uh, copyright struck. <laughs> I'm just that good at mimicking instrument sounds. Yeah, it's totally not that YouTube's very um, uh, strike happy. <laughs> okay, come on, they couldn't possibly. I'm joking. They're like, no. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I mean,. I don't- I, I, I haven't directly seen that happen, but, you know, at the same point, I wouldn't be surprised. You're like, I believe it. Okay. We appear to have taken a wrong turn somewhere. That's okay. It seems that if we go down this way, we can loop back around. Yeah. Through this wall. How have we not found any, uh... Fast travel points? Yeah. Somehow managed to avoid all of them. Oh, can't get through that wall. Unless we can just open the door. No. Hard wall. <laughs> Hard wall. Don't, don't, don't. We've we established really that corner like... does not... It doesn't have anything. <laughs> it's a very cool corner. I appreciate its architecture. <laughs> Lost. If we keep going forward, there does look to be a main road. We're the lost in the woods. So I'm gonna in Cardona. Oh. oh, did I get injured there? I don't see a health bar. You don't have a health bar, but you definitely did fall like a story. It's fine. Oh. Sorry! Excuse me. Okay, we've made it past the wall. Why is that wall there with, like, no doors except one? I don't know. Hey, we found a fast travel point. Great. We can actually stop. <laughs> oh, do you want to stop here? Oh, uh, yeah, I see. <laughs> I mean, some of it's going to be cut down, but, uh, we, we have been we have been searching for at least, like, Five plus minutes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're lost in this little city, but we'll, we'll get in there. So we're gonna stop here because it's a fast travel point, and uh, we can save. Yeah. And not have to do all all, all of the walking. The walking. <laughs> we'll still do some of the walking, but not all of it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Hope you guys had fun. Yes. And we will be seeing you next time next time. Bye-bye! See ya!